Hi, my name is Jamie Graves. I'm the Japan Portfolio Manager here at Skernik Wines and Spirits, and we're going to talk about how and when to enjoy that bottle of sake. So when should you enjoy that bottle of sake? Uh, generally, sake is meant to be enjoyed fresh uh, very soon after making. That's when it's at its lightest, its brightest, its most kind of acidic. But if you want to set it away in a cool, dark place, let the flavors mellow and deepen, um, you can get some very interesting effects out of it. So once you're ready to open the bottle of sake, what should you drink it out of? Uh, what you do drink it out of can really change the experience. Uh, if you're drinking it out of a standard wine glass, uh, that'll be a focused stream that will give you a lot of uh, punch and flavor. If you're drinking it out of a ceramic cup or something flat, uh, that'll provide a wide stream which goes straight to the back of your mouth and gives you more of kind of the richness and umami of the sake. Personally, when I'm drinking sake, I like it out of a short, simple water glass. So how do people enjoy sake in groups? Uh, if you've been to Japan at a drinking party, you'll notice people like to pour for one another, uh, generally junior members of the group pouring for more senior people. In a Western-style restaurant, you know, server will serve it to you directly. You might have heard it's a bad form to pour for yourself, uh, but there is a pass. If you just say teijaku, selfish hand, it's okay to pour for yourself. So if you've got a bottle of sake that's a bit of a richer, bolder style, it might be interesting to set that one aside and see how it's drinking in a couple years. Some sake that might be interesting to age. Uh, tai no Hana is a lovely, bold sake from Mie. It has a lot of big, nutty, fresh, vibrant flavors. You set that aside for a couple years, uh, I think it'll only start to deepen over time. Another great sake to age is uh, anything from Kikuhime. They make very big, bold, high acid, higher alcohol sake that really stands up to aging. It'll smooth over time and even develop a little bit more kind of fruit and nutty qualities uh, over the years. One sake I would not age is anything by Hakurakse, the connoisseur. Uh, they make very light, bright, very vibrant sake uh, that can tend to get a little bit muted over time. Uh, but if you have it fresh, it is a delightful experience. All right, so a couple things to think about when enjoying that bottle of sake. Do you want to set it aside for a little bit, uh, let the flavors mellow and deepen? Once you're ready to open it, how do you want to enjoy it? Do you want it nice and chilled? Do you want it a little bit warmed up? And what do you want to drink it out of? Nice wine glass to give you a lot of the intensity of flavor, or something a little bit more traditional? A little ceramic to give you a lot of warmth uh, and umami out of the sake. Uh, you can think of sake like a living, breathing thing. It'll change depending on the age of the bottle, what you serve it out of, uh, and the context that you're drinking it in. So explore all the options. There's a lot of delicious uh, ways to enjoy it out there.